Our Asia's largest tech expo, Computex, closes in Taipei today. The event has been the busiest and most closely watched in years. With Taiwan's place in the much-hyped AI revolution in the spotlight, Victoria Chen tells us more. The mood is celebratory. At this year's annual PC Expo, known as Computex, the reason for celebration is clear, that Taiwan will be at the forefront of the AI revolution. Largest AI supercomputer in Taiwan today is in Kaohsiung. A, a company belong to Foxconn helped us build the data center and host our supercomputer for us. We are going to expand Taipei One with even more supercomputing capability. Taiwan needs to have amazing AI infrastructure so that the, comp the researchers and the companies in Taiwan can have an infrastructure to create AI for factory. NVIDIA has already opened its first AI research and development center in Taiwan with a supercomputer named Taipei One. The Taiwan-born American billionaire, who has been the biggest star in this year's Computex, said NVIDIA now plans to build a second one on the island, but he didn't elaborate on when and where. Excellent engineers, great technology, excellent work ethic, great spirit. It's a, it's a fantastic place. Not to be outshined, AMD CEO Lisa Su, also known for her Taiwanese roots, unveiled the company's latest AI chip while highlighting Taiwan's importance in the global supply chain. Maybe say overall, uh, you know, Taiwan is a very important area for us to do research and development. Uh, we already have over a thousand people here uh, doing a um, significant amount of development for all of our product portfolio. Media reports say that AMD may invest $155 million to build an R&D center, possibly in the southern part of the island. Also drawing media attention is the attendance of Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger. During his keynote speech, he highlighted the close relations Intel has with Taiwan. Intel has had its operations in Taiwan since 1985, and next year at Computex, we're going to have a little 40-year birthday party for Intel and Taiwan, IT, Intel and Taiwan together. The renewed commitments from the tech leaders came at a time of high tensions in the Taiwan Strait, with their every word closely scrutinized on both sides of the strait. For instance, Jensen Huang's reference of the island as a country sparked heated discussions on Chinese social media. While in Taiwan, local media zoom in on whether he would meet President William Lai, who touted Taiwan's key role in semiconductors and AI in his inauguration speech last month that angered Beijing. It's been a busy week for Taiwan's tech industry. On the sideline of the Computex, TSMC, Taiwan's most important tech company, also completed its leadership transition. CEO CC Wei has taken over as chairman, becoming the first person to hold the dual roles in years. Echoing the sentiment at the Computex, Mr. Wei said that he expects developments around AI to drive the industry's recovery in 2024. Victoria Jian, CNA, Taipei.